If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. All right, we're back with another Bastion deck profile, but this time we got with the one copy of Dark Strain. Now that it's been reduced to one, I feel like people are gonna be less likely to pick up Bastion in a competitive scene. So I feel like Bushroad, good job. You reduced Bastion players, but um, consistency-wise, the deck feels like it's pretty much the same for the most part. Let's just go ahead and get right into what a post uh, ban list or restriction dark strain to one bastion deck looks like. So let's go ahead and get right into the ride deck as always. Starter is base, uh, trial deck card. So same as all the other ones, you ride on top of it. If you're going second, you draw a card. Next up is a uh, Fort Knight or Knight of Heavenly Sword Fort. When you ride Rooks on top of it, you can reveal two threes and you call the top card of your deck. It's sad when it's always a trigger and always the over trigger, but you know, it still helps you fill the board. And then we got Rooks. Rooks is when you ride Bastion on top of it, you can reveal three threes. You draw a card, that's always a plus. So we're gonna stick with the classic ride line there. Then we got Bastion. So Apex Ruler Bastion is when you reveal a grade three, you discard a card, you restand a grade, you just restand a rear guard, um, and it gets 10k. So multi-attacking has always been good. So nothing's changed with the ride deck. Now we're moving on to the main deck, starting off with our grade fours. Four copies of uh, Bastion Prime. Bastion Prime's first skill is during your turn, your front row just gets 2k. And then the second skill is at the end of the battle that you revealed a grade three, you either discard a Bastion from hand or you choose a Bastion in soul and put it in a drop. Restand all your grade three rear guards and they all get 10k. So obviously when you had Dark Strain at four, you were just guaranteed to have all your grade threes have boost. But now it's a little bit harder, so your back row grade threes aren't doing as much, but this is still just a really good card because you're gonna get five attacks regardless. So Bastion Prime's always pretty good. And it has triple drive. Triple drive is nice because that's more chances to see over triggers. All right, going on to the rest of the main deck. Three copies of our other Bastions, just because even though you have the Bastion in soul, you might want more Bastions in hand for the discard. Um, Persona Ride is a thing, so you can read right on top of them. So it's just more Bastions to work with throughout the deck. So then going on, we have two copies of Lag Rally. Lag Rally is Counter Blast 2. When it attacks, rest any number of rear guards, and if you rest three or less, you have to discard three from hand. If you discard one or less, you have to discard five. This is kind of like when you're going for broke, kind of blast two, get more drive checks. If you have no hand anyways, it doesn't really matter. And then it restands from Bastion, and you can swing again if you have the kind of blast to do it again. So more kind of, more drive checks means more chances to see over trigger, and obviously more crits. So there's more triggers in general. So leg rally is still really good. Then I'm going to get into our four copies of our shield. I decided to run this at four just because consistency in the shield is nice and I feel like since you're not really throwing your back row as fast, you can make room to have more shield in hand, which is nice. So what this does is when it's placed in the guard circle, you choose one of your vanguards, it gets 10k. If it's a grade four, it gets 20k. So if you're on prime, easy, you're on a 33 base without the triggers, so it's nice. That's pretty much all it is. Oh, what I also really like is that uh, because you can guard with any grade, regardless what your Vanguard's grade is, if your opponent swings at you at grade two, you can guard with this and it gives your Vanguard an extra 10, so that's still nice to have for you on grade one and two. So it's a really good card for shield. Four copies of Alden. This card's never gone away. Still a super good card. It's kind of blast two, soul blast one. You choose a, um, a grade three from your hand call it, draw two. Well, it's just choose a card from your hand. If it's a grade three, you draw two cards. Second skill is when it attacks, it gets 5K and that stacks. So you swing, it restands, you swing again, that's plus 10K. So it's just a way to help you build your hand and build your board. So still a really, really good staple. Speaking of really good staples, for flukes. Uh, this helps you generate soul because we have cards that use a lot of soul. So what it does is you move to soul, choose a grade three, gets 10k for the turn. Kind of helps you make some power and you fill your soul. And it's free because it's just act move to soul. Uh, next up, two copies of, um, what is your name exactly? Sparare. What it does if it's in the front row and it restands, soul plus two, draw a card. Uh, if it's in the back row, your unit's in the same column as this unit get 5k. So even if it's kind of just sitting in the back row doing nothing, something in the front's getting 5k, so it's still really helpful. So it's good no matter where you put it, except for probably behind your vanguard, but yeah. Uh, mostly just using it just because it's in the front row, you restand it, so plus two, you get a draw, helps you fill your hand. 
kind of makes up for the same cost as Dark Strain, so nothing's really changing in terms of, of cost. And lastly, Dark Strain Dragon as our grade three normal unit. Uh, Soul Blast two, you choose all your grade threes and they all get boost. So you just kind of throw this down last, Soul Blast two, and then your board is boosting. It's limited to one, so we got the one copy. Going into our orders now, this is it for the grade threes. So this is the grade three order that does the same thing as Dark Strain. You pay cost is discard a card. It sits in your order zone. And for the rest of the game, all your grade threes have boost. So it's kind of the same thing. It kind of makes up that way. It does suck that it costs you have to discard, but since you have a bunch of grade threes in your hand anyways, it kind of makes up for it. So it's another way to kind of help you get a little board going. All right, so now we're going grade threes. We're going on to the rest of our normal units, which is our PGs. Aegis Mirror Dragon. It's the fancy PG. It's the one that if you have one or less in hand, you don't have to discard. So you guard with it, you got one or less, you're good, free PG. So, very, very helpful. Now we're moving on to triggers. Our everyone's favorite, the over trigger. We're running the Armata Noah because what it does is the additional effect is all your rear guards gain drive checks. So that way when they swing, they can perform drive checks. All your grade threes have twin drives. So when your grade three rear guard swings, you do two drive checks. So obviously it's the Armata Noah. Uh, for my trigger lineup, I'm doing four of the dragon. Blade Feather is at the end of the battle that it boosts. You move it to soul, give something 2k. I'm running this one just because the deck does use a lot of soul, so maybe if I want to throw this down just so I can shove cards into soul for cost, it does come in handy. I'm now then going to go into my front triggers, which I'm running four of. Uh, I'm running four of the fronts just because your front row is going to be a big beefy number anyways. And this one is if your opponent's Vanguard's at grade three, gets an extra shield, so 20k shield is very helpful, especially if you're on grade two with Rooks and your opponent's kind of going into your face with a bunch of attacks, having that extra shield does help. We got our three draw triggers. It's the exact same skill as the front trigger, so it's if your opponent's Vanguard's grade three, this gets an extra five shield. I'm just running this just because having more cards in hand means you get to see more grade threes, throw your board down, so it's a very like kind of like rainbow-ish trigger lineup. You can kind of really play around with the trigger lineup a lot, which is another thing I really like about this deck. Speaking of playing around with the trigger lineup, three vanilla heals, uh, and I'm running the one that um, if your opponent's rear guard or opponent's unit attacks two or more, it gets an extra 15 shield. I know people like the one with the increased crit just because of Bruce and Bad Zorgra and other units that gain additional crits. I do like this one just because if you're playing against decks like um, Flagbird, or if you're playing against uh, Nirvana, which has the re-standing uh, great bit, Nirvana Spiriata. So I kind of, I like having this for that as well. Um, you can, you can really run like one, one, and then two vanilla heals, that works just fine. This is just what I'm running for my own personal preference. All right, so that was pretty much it for the deck profile. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and uh, tell me what you think about the the Dark Strain uh, hit. Did it really make a difference since we have an order that basically does the same thing anyways? Like, is the deck really that different? I think it is. That's just me personally, but that was it for the deck profile, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.